My colleague Kamaljeet, who's on the spot, is now joining me on the broadcast. Kamaljeet, it seems like the situation is extremely tense and for over 100 hours, this operation has been going on. Absolutely, it's day five of the encounter and this has now intensified. I remember there was rains yesterday, uh, which was obviously one of the causes because, which, uh, because of which uh, the encounter has now been delayed. Now there has been uh, sweeping up operations done, combing operations being done. Uh, we could see that uh, there were several army personnel who were on top of that mountain. And remember, this is a stiff cliff and that is why uh, the operation is taking much longer. Now the drone camera has given visuals and inside not just of the hideout which is now available in the public domain but also there are two bodies which have been spotted now our sources confirm to us one is of a terrorist the other is of a soldier now there is seems to be a lot of difficulty in retrieving the bodies uh, because of which uh, the operation is now prolonging also uh, there is intermittent firing we saw late last night the firing was continuously on uh, since morning we do see intermittent and we do hear intermittent firing which is taking place uh, so the cordon has obviously been uh, properly laid out since the past five days uh, so security forces really hoping uh, that that uh, the terrorists would not escape there are also the other reality that there are many cave-like structures they may have destroyed the main one where the terrorists were suspected to be hiding uh, but then there are other natural cavities in which they could have actually taken shelter and that is why the mountainous regions are so rugged now if the camera person really pans uh, we really try and show you uh, these are uh, very thick foliage uh, very thick uh, uh, coverage as far as the green cover is concerned and that is where uh, these terrorists can be taking shelter and that is how we see uh, the late, latest uh, equipment being used whether it's the high-tech drones uh, the weaponized drones uh, the RPG has been put into service uh, so yes uh, this is going to be a arduous task an uphill task as far as security forces are concerned but remember the success came in in Baramula where three terrorists who were infiltrating uh, were shot down uh, meanwhile, uh, in South Kashmir, Kokonag area where we're standing, uh, this is the real challenge as far as security forces are concerned. The other information coming in is from Kiswad. Uh, this is obviously the Peer Panjal range and then this goes on to uh, the other area of Kiswad where a high alert has been sounded. The re reason being because these are continuous hills and the terrorists... Uh, at, at any bin, given point of time, even though there is a cordon, there is also an alert in the proximity of the area uh, where they could have managed to flood. Uh, but uh, security forces telling us at this point of time that they're confident they could be holed up, but they're not taking any chances. And that is why a wider cordon has been now formed. Right, Kamaljeet, my colleague, giving us live images and updates, telling us how difficult the terrain is. And that's the reason why the operation has been going on for over 100 hours now.